everyone, I'm Christine and today I wanted to share with you my top four favorite sunscreens. They're going to be a little bit different than the ones that I mentioned in my previous video which I'll put a link right here. And I talked a lot about ingredients to avoid in sunscreens. Um, these four products don't contain any of the chemical filters that I mentioned in that video. Um, and it also glides on very smoothly and overall I just love each and every one of them. They do have different price points so I'll discuss the price points as well. Recently I found out about these Kula mineral sunscreens. There's two versions. There's the unscented matte tint, which is kind of like a BB cream. And there's a cucumber matte finish, which has a slight cucumber scent to it. They're all both SPF 30. And I want to say that you don't always have to have an SPF 50. The difference between a 30 versus a 50, um, the protection that, the increase in protection that it provides is actually very negligible and there's not much difference. So SPF 30 is pretty safe. Um, I would recommend that you apply your SPF every two hours. I forget to do that during the day as well, but just make sure that you apply your sunscreen every so often. I recommend the matte tint to those ladies that don't want to use primers. This does have a primer effect. The finish is pretty matte so it's not a moisturizer, but I love the mousse texture and it's so soft on the skin. Um, this is $36 available at Sephora. So the price is not too cheap, but I love this formula. It is so great and I've been raving about this to my friends. So this one and the tinted one is very similar except that this one's white, this one's tinted. So I recommend this to any of the guys that are looking for SPFs that don't leave an oily residue or a white cast and don't smell rosy and flowery. This is also $36. I love both of these sunscreens but they are definitely not moisturizers and so if your skin is really dry, I recommend that you thoroughly moisturize your face before applying these guys. My third favorite one is a product that I've been using a lot in my other videos and it's the Tatcha Silk and Pore Perfecting Sunscreen Brow Spectrum SPF 35. And the reason why this is ranked number 3 is because of its hefty price. It's $68 so it's not very cheap. I love how it applies to your face. It absorbs very quickly. It's more like a moisturizer than a mousse texture. Uh, whereas a Kula one, it feels like a primer. This one feels more like a lotion. But I love the natural fragrance of this. It smells like bamboo leaf um, and like some, some kind of orchid. I don't know. It, it, it has a very natural fragrance that I really enjoy. Last but not least is the La Roche Posay. This also has a really long name. Bra Spectrum SPF 50 Tinted and Thelios 50 Mineral Ultra Light Sunscreen Fluid. I don't know why all these sunscreens have really long names. But this you have to shake before you use it and it's very liquidy but I love the glow that it gives off to my face when I apply this. I sometimes just apply this sunscreen and don't wear any BB cream if I feel like my skin is doing better than usual um, and it just has this like radiance on my face when I applied this one. This one is $25. Um, some of my friends don't like it because of the smell. It kind of smells a little bit more chemically, but it disappears after a while, and so it doesn't bother me that much. These four are my holy grail sunscreens. If you have any other sunscreens that you like to enjoy using, please comment below, and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!